Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. Tonight we're on the red carpet at the Tribeca Grand Hotel for a special screening of Disney's Cinderella. We'll be bringing you interviews tonight with the celebrity host, Coca Rocha, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, with the always stunning Coco Rocha. Thank you. First of all, what an amazing Cinderella-like, I had to throw that pun in there, <laughs> Cinderella-like year for you right now. You just partnered up with HSN and Disney to do your own clothing line. How cool is that? The book out, you have baby on the way, so many great <laughs> things happening. Talk to me about partnering up with HSN Disney. Tell me all about this line. It was definitely was a, I know as cliche as this all is going to sound, but it was kind of a Cinderella story in that uh, I've always wanted to make my own clothing uh, line and collection, but I've just never had the opportunity or the chance. And so for HSN and Disney to come to me and say, hey, would you do this? It was kind of that fairy godmother moment of like, thank Another you. Pun. <laughs> thank you so much for the opportunity. Thanks for giving me this chance. And so um, yeah, I've been so excited about it and proud of it too. I mean, I've really wanted to make sure that there was a lot of storytelling in why I did what I did with the clothing uh, to even the fact that I think that everyone has their own Cinderella story. Um, me as a, for instance, as a model, I grew up in Canada. I was an Irish dancing nerd. I was very tall, lanky, you know, boys made fun of me, girls made fun of me. And then all of a sudden this man comes up to me and says, have you ever thought of modeling? Uh, which I, again, thought was very fairy godmother-esque. And, uh, you know, 12 years later, I'm here talking to you about my own uh, clothing uh, capsule collection. So all of that, I think we all have that story as women and men. I'm sure you have Not it me. too. Look at you and look at me. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> but I feel like we all, I mean, if it's just the simplest thing where someone gave you that first job or that first reporting gig or whatever it is, you look back and go, I, I had that Cinderella moment. So uh, in, in telling that story, I made sure that in my clothing the, there were stories being told. When you get to partner up with two mega brands, obviously Disney, it doesn't get much better no. or bigger. And then having HSN, one of the premier retailers out there, when you get to partner up with mega brands like that, that's got to be just the coolest thing ever. It's definitely the coolest thing ever. I mean, just the fact that HSN knows who you are or, or uh, Disney knows who you are, that's a, that's especially Disney. You know, as a kid, you, you think back to your 10-year-old self and thought, would you ever have thought you'd be designing a collection for them uh, for the Cinderella story? And I never would have imagined that. And having a little girl coming a, a you know, a, a baby coming out. Oh, I can't even speak. Let's try that again. And the fact that, you know, having a baby uh, this year and being able to share all this together, it's, it's just the perfect Disney story for me. Was it difficult because for someone who's worn it and shown it, was it difficult getting behind and designing it and figuring out that story to tell? Yeah, but sometimes it gets a little uh, challenging in that uh, I'm used to always wearing the clothes. So definitely at points I had to put the clothes on. They had it on other mannequins and sometimes models, but uh, for some reason I was like, put it on my body as well. Because um, that's how I always judge clothes, you know, it's just by how I wear and the fit and the form. So I guess that's a good thing too, because then I know how, how I want it to feel in the shoulders or how comfortable it is around the waist. So. Uh, yeah, it's a little challenging sometimes getting the model out of me and be designer more, but it, it was good overall. Speaking of body, one of the things I love is your social media is the best. You, you are always on Twitter, you're interacting, you're putting baby bump pictures yes. up. Talk to me about how you, you're able to use social media because it's just, it's great to see someone who's so open with everything and sharing it with her fans and the public. Thanks. Uh, well, yeah, I think that we, this day and age, it's all about digital uh, social media, I mean, it, it can be a little scary to some people, but I thought early on in my career, embrace it. Uh, it is the form or the way to be the new businesswoman. 
Uh, and so for any woman out there, you don't have to be a model, celebrity, any of that. It, just a brand in yourself, you know. You can go, get Twitter, Instagram, all of that tomorrow and just start your brand. It's so smart. It's an amazing thing. I mean, as a model, 10 years ago, there was no such thing. So I didn't have a point of view, or I did, but you didn't know about it. Now I get to share that point of view. So it's, it's a great thing. Tell me all about motherhood. How are you preparing? How excited are you? It's got to be just... You're over the moon, I'm assuming. I am very over the moon. I'm way past it over the moon. I'm uh, really excited about it. Um, it. It's something that, you know, when you find that partner that you get to share the rest of your life with and then all of a sudden to, to, to create a, a new human being, uh, it's quite an amazing thing. And uh, the pregnancy has been beautiful and, uh, and amazing, but now I'm very excited to meet this human being and see what she's like. You also have a book out. Yes. Tell me all about the book. The book, it's called Study Your Pose, and uh, as a model, I'm known for posing, as weird and cliche as that sounds, and we all should be, but supposedly I was good at it, so I thought, why not make a book about it? But it's also kind of a, uh, a nod to the great um, artists and, and sculptors out there and uh, photographers. So if you go through the book, it's a thousand Im images of, uh, of a model posing, um, but I definitely wanted to make sure that you s I represented art history to pop culture to film noir that you would look through these images and go I, why do I know that it looks very similar to Marilyn Monroe or Michael Jackson um, and just to show that the form and the body is very important to how we look at imagery. Congratulations. So, yeah. It you. is a Cinderella like your congrats Thank on everything. You.